Klein Autonomous Coding Agent right in your IDE, capable of creating editing files, executing commands using the browser, and more with your permission every step of the way. And it is a VS Code, Visual Studio Code extension. You can just create a full-fledged app just with one command. Klein is automatically creating files and editing it right from a VS Code editor. You can also use it for free using Olama models and create applications super fast using Grok. And I'm going to teach you how you can do this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Klein is a VS Code extension. So you need to download this Visual Studio Code, then go to the extensions tab, then type Klein, there you can install it. It's previously called Claude Dev, and you can see the number of downloads. So once after you download, you will have an icon like this, clicking on that. Then you can add your models by going to settings. First, we are going to try with Anthropic Claude. So choose that API provider and add your API key here. After that, choose the model which you want to use. Now I'm going to give a task. I'm ticking on auto approve, which means it can read files, edit files, execute safe commands, and use the browser to test the application. So I'm going to say, create a to-do list app with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to keep this simple. Now it's taking the request and creating the required file. That is the to-do list app. Then creating the CSS file with all the CSS commands. Now it's creating me the JavaScript file with the JavaScript commands. And the super cool thing about this is that you know how much you spent for each request. Now this is another advanced feature. It's opening my web app, double checking if it's working or not. You can also see the console logs. Based on what it saw, it's verifying if the task is completed or not. So now we are in a stage where we just give a prompt and this can automatically create any application we want and can publish it automatically. That is really exciting future. Now let's test this app. I'm going to open the file which it created, that is HTML, the index file. So here is the to-do list app. I'm going to add a new task, integrate Prison AI with Llama index. So I can see the item here. Now if I want to modify this, let's say I want to make it more modern and fix all these issues, I can request that here. I can see the process is still going on because it saw the page and it want to make some modification and it's making those changes. And also it's planning the list of steps to do. So now it's step two of two after viewing the page. I'm going to say make the to-do list app more modern. Now it's making those necessary changes in the CSS, HTML. You can see the modification happening line by line. And here is the updated to-do list app with all these categories. And that is super cool. Next, I'm going to show you how you can use Olama with 5.4 model to use with Klein. So download Olama from olama.com. Next, Olama pull 5.4 and it's downloaded now. 5.4 is one of the top model from Microsoft, so we are going to use that. Next, coming back to settings, there in the API provider, you can choose Olama. There I'm choosing 5.4 latest and then clicking done. Now there are a few more features such as at, then you can point it to a folder or a problem or paste a URL. For now, I'm going to point it to index.html and going to say, add a navigation at the top with home and contact. Now it's using that as the context and making those necessary changes. For some advanced task, you might need some advanced models such as Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now I can see these Olama models sometimes struggle to implement those changes. So keep that in mind. Next, we are going to see how we can integrate Grok. So same like before, go to the settings. There in the API provider, open AI compatible, click on that. Then provide this Grok endpoint then Grok API key. In that way, you can create your application super fast. I'm using Llama 3.18b instant, but you can also try other models. You can see other Grok models in the Grok documentation, as you can see here. So after choosing this, you can click done. Even this is a simple model. So I'll ask it to create application, create a to-do list application using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in one file and clicking enter. So I'm asking it to create it from scratch. I can see it's going step by step and when it's generating, it's super fast and it is completed. Let's try it out. And here is the to-do application, integrate Llama index, adding task, integrate Langchain, adding task. And I can see it's working as a functionality. Let me try adding modern look to that page. Now it's making those necessary changes and this automatically 
open the browser for me and here's the application but i don't see much changes that could be because of the model which we are using which is 8 billion parameter model so overall this process could be a bit more smoother but when you use advanced models such as cloud or open ai chat gpt 4.0 this seems much more smoother so i would recommend if you're planning to use cloud sonnet or open ai models then this is a much more smooth process using olama and other small models it's hard to work with these do let me know in the comments below what you think about this considering you already like creating application just from one prompt i've also created another video which is lovable it's another application using that you can create a full application using just a prompt and i'll put the link in here and i highly recommend for you to watch and i'll see you there